what is up now friends just a girl d here with a swatching video we are going to be swatching benelisa's jelly nude collection it was the bomb to live for and we're also going to be swatching some nail polishes that i had gotten from timu they are temperature changing. They are from my previous video. Yeah, we're going to be getting into those today. And I am excited because I have not seen what color all the gel polishes turn to. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. So, yeah, let's get into this Vinalisa though. When I was watching the Vinalisa, I was, yeah, I was feeling good because those gel, uh, jelly uh, builder gels, they were to live for. They were easy to work with. They go on very, very smoothly. And when you put it on, it stays where you put it until you move it it was it was it was really an awesome thing and it also self leveled so you will see for yourself how smoothly they go on this is my true honest opinion about these um gels because every gel that you see i did pay for okay this is not sponsored <laughs> okay so yeah when you see my hauls yeah i'm telling you the real deal okay i'm gonna let you know if it's good stuff and i'm gonna let you know if it's yeah i'm saying if it's you know suspect so yeah so we're gonna be uh talking about um me today okay it's a nail vlog and on my channel we don't just talk about nails we also talk about D, okay? So I like to share for those who may not um, have, you know, seen any of my videos and this is your first time, welcome and let me explain something to you. On this channel, we talk about me, okay? I do share life stories. Um, some of them are happy and some of them are sad. Okay? And if that's not your thing, then may God bless you and you may be dismissed. And for those who are returning, thank you so much for watching. You guys know I appreciate you. So, oh, and before we get into my story, I just want to let notify everyone that if there's any rude comments, if there's any negativity concerning my story, if I feel like I can't be free on my own channel, then you will be reported and you will be blocked. That's that. I have no more to say about that. And now to tell my story. In order to tell my story, I have to go back during the time that my mom had. I'm not going to go too far into detail because I'm going to make another video about that when I'm ready to talk about it. But during this time, my mom had passed. Then a week later, my best friend passed. Then 30 days after that, my nephew was murdered. I was pregnant with my son at the time and I was married to a man that I thought was a man of God and had a relationship with God and did not. Um, we're also going to go deeper into that when I do my other video concerning my mom passing and that's going to be during Mother's Day when I, you know, talk about my, why I'm doing my giveaway. My giveaway is going to be in honor of my mom. But anyway, back to my story. Um, during this time, things got worse between me and my husband at the time. 
I had my son. Then things got even worse. We're fighting back and forth. Things got so bad that we ended up going to court back and forth in a custody battle. The custody battle got so bad that the judge said that if we continued on, that she was going to take my son and put him into foster care. So to keep that from happening, I stopped fighting. I would rather him go with his father than him be in foster care. So I sacrificed being with my son so that my son could be with at least one of us. So he went MIA after this. He went MIA. So I'm going around looking for my son, um, go, going around family members that also knew him, asking them if they had seen my son and if they if they could get in contact with my ex you know my son's father so that you know because he has other sisters and brothers that will also like to see him is not right is not fair you know and it was just you know a lot it was a lot and this whole thing just broke me like I had really went through it and to make a long story short the Lord you know he healed my heart and everything I left my son in the Lord's hands I left it there and the one thing that I forgot to say was that my ex was very close to my uncle who just passed now before i go into the present day um remember i told you guys that i was going around asking my family members if they had seen my son or his father please talk to him please get in contact with him because they were all close. They all ran in the same circle, went to the same hole in the wall churches, you know, where, you know, everybody had the spirit of religion instead of really having the true spirit of God. So in present day, that same uncle that I was asking about my son just recently passed. I also not only had asked my uncle during that time about my son, but I also asked my cousins, you know, his son and daughter, because wherever my uncle was, his son and daughter was with him. And I had also asked them. No one knew anything. Bam, left it in the Lord's hands. Present day, I get a phone call, right? My uncle, just passed. My two cousins just called me. I'm going to be there for them because during the time that my mom passed, they was there for me. Bam. I'm there at the funeral, you know, trying to support at the hospital, trying to support, you know, you know, making sure everybody eat, you know, just doing what the Lord instructed me to do through his word. You know, nothing, you know, extra glamorous, extra special, just being a servant of the Lord. Cool. So he passes. Um, go to the funeral. Get to the funeral. I wasn't even going to go, but the Lord said, you gave your word. You're going to go with your head held high. Just go. I went. And there's a couple of reasons why I wasn't going to go because there's some things that had taken place that I'm really not going to go into right now. But yeah, I ended up going. When I went, who do I run into? Nobody but my son's father. 
I hear his voice. He's in the pulpit, y'all. He's in the pulpit. Shouting and putting on and, oh my goodness, just putting on the act like he living for God for real. And I froze, y'all. I froze. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to act after so many years of looking for this man, seeing him. I just froze, y'all. So, I pray, because I didn't know what to do. Anytime I don't know what to do, and, and I'm lost the words and actions, I pray. Lord God, help me, Father. You know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Lead me. Lead me in your way. The way you would have me, just lead me. So I go, I sign the book, then I go inside the church and I sit. I sit in the back at first and then he told me to go to the front. So I went to the front. I'm sitting there to see his reaction. Oh, he just, he's, he's, he's disturbed. He's disturbed because he know what he did. So <clears throat> the service is over. I'm looking around. He got away from me again. So I turned around saying, I said, Lord, I'm not going to chase him. I left it in your hands so many years ago. I'm going to leave it in your hands again today. After that, I get into my car and I turn my GPS on, drive down the street. First right I make, who do I see? my son's father so I roll down my window and I say my children would like to see their brother and he's copping a plea talking about how he tried to get in contact with me and all of this and all of that but this man forget everything that he did and all the lies he told the judge and just all the games that he played simply because I did not want to be with him anymore. So he used my son as a pawn because I did not want to be with him. So he's forgetting all of this as he's talking to me and honestly I have forgotten too. One of the reasons is because like I said years ago I left it in the Lord's hands. I constantly pray for him all the time just to give myself some comfort in knowing that the Lord is taking care of him. So I'm stand well, I'm sitting in the car talking to him. I offered him to get in the car. He got in the car and he gave me his number and then he told me that he was gonna give Kai Kai my number and let him make the decision on calling me. That was fine. So um we ended it. I drove off. He told me that um, he would give Kai Kai my number and he would be calling me tonight. So I said, okay. So later on that evening, I got a text. Hey, mom, I didn't see it until three something that morning. So I text him back. I, I knew that he wouldn't get the text until that morning. So I text him back and he texted me again and he said, I miss you too, like, the, you know, they were very vague and it just didn't sound like a 16 year old talking. And here we go with the games again. But like I always say, my father in heaven always give me a golden nugget. So before the phone calls and the text happened, Soon as I came home from the funeral, 
and I started trying to finish up the studies that I had started the night before um, my Bible study. So I started in my Bible study and it led me to a scripture. And the scripture that the Lord led me to was Psalms 10, Psalms 110 and Psalms 111. So Psalms 110 I'm going to read the whole thing and then I'm going to go back and explain it. These are the golden nuggets that I've been telling you guys about. This is how I know God is real. Like, he really be helping me out through my life, you know, because if not, then a long time ago, I just would have, you know, just lost my mind, y'all. I'm telling you, I would have been crazy. <laughs> All right, so Psalms 110 says, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. The people shall be willing in the day of thy power in the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, who was Jesus. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with dead bodies, he shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to explain what that means for, for some might not understand. Okay, so the first verse says, The Lord said unto my Lord, now this is Psalms. This is the book of Psalms. In Psalms, the King David was king. And this is one of his servants writing a song about the Lord. So he says, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemy thy footstool so I'm gonna break it down so he basically said okay check this out okay he playing with you all right I see it I see it okay I sent you there all right he playing with you all right move out the way yeah you step to the side and sit down and watch me take care of this watch me make him your footstool so go ahead and sit down because you're going to need a place to rest your feet. <laughs> and second verse, the Lord shall send the rod of strength out of Zion. See, when things like that happen to you, you know what I'm saying? It makes you weak. So he going to send the rod of strength out of Zion. And he's going to do two things. He's going to make you strong while you sit there at the right hand and watch him do what he do. And then he's going to send the rod of correction. Okay? And he's going to do it in the midst of thine enemies. Okay? Then the third verse say, The people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Okay? Okay? Now, I'm just getting that as, I, as I'm reading it to y'all. Because I didn't understand that part, in, you know, when I first read it the first couple times. But he said... I get excited, so y'all gonna have to excuse me. He said, the people shall be willing in the day of thy power. That means that when the Lord takes care of this, okay, 
and he start ruling in the midst of it, oh, they going to be willing. Trust me. After he send that ride of correction <laughs> in the day of the power, they going to be willing. <laughs> I'm laughing because I have seen so many things take place like this. I've seen God move his mighty hand in the midst of calamity. Like I've seen it. <laughs> they will be willing in the midst of thy power. Okay. Okay. In the midst of thy power, in the beauty of holiness from the womb of the morning, like early in the morning, thou has the dew of thy youth. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, this not going to make me old. This not going to make me old. Okay. It's not going to wear me down and make me old. Okay. Next verse. We at four. Verse four. It says, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. That means he's made a promise to me. He already told me that he was going to take care of this because I left it in his hands, y'all. I left it in his hands, y'all. Sorry about that. My recording stopped. But being as though it did stop, let's take a break from that. These gel polishes was all that, man. They were all that. But back to my story. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I had left it in his hands, okay? Left it all the way in his hands. So that's what you have to do. You have to leave it in his hands so he could take care of it. Because we have to understand that. We are only human, so our capabilities, our capabilities are only going to go but so far. But when we leave it in the hands of the creator of everything, trust me, trust and believe he will take care of it. Okay, so where was I? Okay, um, in the order of, okay, and he will not repent. Thou art, okay. Okay, in the beauty of a thy youth, okay, he made a promise to me. Verse 4, the Lord has sworn and will not repent. Thou art a, okay, the Lord has sworn to me and will not repent. That means he will not take back his word. Once he sends out a word, it goes out and accomplish everything that it went out to accomplish. Okay. It says, Thou art a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. That means those who think they're so mighty, those that think they're so mighty, okay? He thinks he's a king right now. He's going he's gonna to strike right through him. He shall judge among the heathen. Okay, he's going to judge all of this that he's doing. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. Don't play with him. Don't play with God. Don't play with him. Now, remember, I already told you he was in the pulpit, acting a fool, acting like he was holy. You don't play with God. If you're not living it, you shouldn't be trying to get it. Okay? He's, it says he will fill places with the dead bodies and shall wound the head over many countries. He shall drink the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up his head. So in the end of all this, I'm going to lift my head up. In the end of all this, as a matter of fact, because I know I have the victory already and I know my daddy is working on it, I'm going to lift my head up right now. Oh, and by the way, they're, they're doing construction next door. So if you hear that, excuse me, I'm ignoring it and I hope you can too. But back to my story. Yes, I'm going to lift my head up. I'm going to keep my head up until my change comes. And I suggest for all you that may be going through a situation similar to mine, pray about it. Leave it in the Lord's hands. 
and do what he instructs you to do. And I can promise you, he going to work it out. And I'm going to leave you guys posted on this. I'm going to leave you guys posted. Because y'all my nail friends. Y'all always support me. I love y'all. And I know y'all love me too. That's why I feel comfortable on this channel sharing the way that I share with you guys. So yeah. Um, so yeah, leave in the comment section you know what you guys think about that you know what i'm saying what do you think about the scriptures that i shared i didn't even get to um psalms 111 um i may make a part two you know but oh yeah you know what i really have to read this right quick because he already let me know the ending in this passage right here so i'm gonna read it and i'm gonna go back and explain it Let's see how much time I got. I got four minutes. All right, so it says, Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright. I will, in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation that has pleasure therein. His works is honorable and glorious and his righteousness endureth forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. That means, I got to stop right there. That means he going to make this be remembered. Everybody's going to remember by the end of this. By the end of everything, everybody's going to remember. See what I'm saying? He has given me. Uh-oh. Wait, 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 wait. His glory of it. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He has given me unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. He will always remember his promise. That's what that means. He will always remember his promise. He has shown his people the power of his works. That means I already have the victory. That means that he's already taken care of it. He has shown. He has showed the people the power of his works. That he may give them the heritage of the heathen. Everything that he thinks that he has God. By the end of this, he's going to give it to me. And that's the end of my story you guys that's my golden nugget if i were you i would if you don't have a bible go and purchase one and go back and read this for you guys that may be going through this listen listen you got it god got you just turn to him just pray to him and let him work it out for you. Be patient. And he will work it out. And that's the end of this video. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed the gel polishes that you've seen. You guys, I love you. And until next time, I hope, before I go, I hope I said something that may encourage you someone that's the whole purpose and me sharing my stories with you i hope that you enjoyed yourself and until next time i love you guys and i'm just going to turn up the music and let you enjoy the rest of this video and until next time i love you guys i pray and hope everyone is blessed no matter where you are in the world whether it be morning afternoon or evening i really do pray that you're blessed. And until next time, I love you, my nail friends.